Okay, problem two, we have a limit as x goes to zero of the quantity 5x to the fourth minus 3x squared divided by the quantity 4x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 2x squared. And usually we can try to put in our x value and see what happens. The only problem with this one in this case is that if I put in zero here, both of these terms go to zero, which means the numerator goes to zero. And both of these terms go to zero, which means the denominator also goes to zero. So we have a zero over zero case here. So we need to do something before we can do that. So what we're going to do here is try to reduce this down. So we know that this limit has to be equal to the limit still as x goes to zero. And I can factor out an x squared on the top and the bottom and not change the problem, so let me do that x squared times the quantity 5x squared minus 3. It's in the numerator. And the denominator, I take out an x squared as well. So I'm left with the quantity 4x squared plus x minus 2. Okay, now we see this x squared over x squared terms. And almost anywhere, this can cancel out. The only problem is when x equals zero, and we see we're going to zero. But since with a limit as x approaches zero, we don't care what happens when x actually equals zero, I can cross off both of these terms because we'll never actually get to zero. And from there, we can see that this is actually equal to the limit as x goes to zero still of 5x cubed minus 3, sorry, 5x squared minus 3, divided by 4x squared plus x minus 2. And now, when we put in our zeros, we aren't left with a 0 over 0 case, so um, we can actually plug in our zeros here because they need, the denominator does not go to zero, so we can divide those. So the limit as x goes to zero will actually equal 5 times 0 squared minus 3 divided by 4 times 0 squared plus 0 minus 2. And now we can see 0 squared is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, this term cancels out. 0 squared, 0 times 4 is 0, and adding on 0 doesn't change anything. So we're left with a negative 3 over negative 2. And by canceling out negatives, negative divided by negative, we actually get a positive three halves, 1.5 or three halves, meaning our answer is choice E.